this tutorial, we'll learn about mordants and fixatives, which help bind dye to fiber and improve color fastness. Protein-based fabrics such as silk and wool use metal-based mordants like iron, copper, tin, chrome, and alum. Some metal mordants can be toxic. Plant-based fabrics, such as cotton and linen, use mordants like tannins, salt, vinegar, baking soda, as well as the metal alum. These mordants are typically non-toxic and easier to work with. We'll focus on these since our projects are plant-based. You need to know the weight of your fabric so you can calculate the quantity of mordant to use. For example, if you have 100 grams of fabric and the recipe calls for 100% of the fabric weight of alum, you would need 100 grams of alum to mordant your fabric. Before you start, wash the fabric. It is also a good idea to scour or scrub your fabric to remove sizing oil or wax from the surface, which may prevent the dye from bonding to the fiber. You can use a neutral soap like Dawn dishwashing detergent, plus washing soda like borax, soda ash, or soda crystals. Simmer for a couple of hours or soak overnight. Rinse the fabric well. Techniques vary, but typically add the mordant to boiling water, Bring to a boil, add the fabric and simmer for about an hour. Remove the pan from the heat and let the water cool. Remove the fabric and squeeze gently. Let's get started. Today I'm working with salt as the mordant and using one part salt to 16 parts water. Add the salt to the water and stir to mix. Bring to a boil. Immerse the prepared fabric into the mordant. Simmer for an hour, adding water to cover as needed. Turn off the heat. When the water is cool, remove the fabric. Gently squeeze out excess liquid. At this point, you can immerse the wet fabric into your dye bath, or you can air dry the fabric and store it until needed. Be sure to label the fabric so you know how it was treated.